We left off test page uh, 195. We said the Chaber, page 195, Aloha test. You have a suf which is exactly 10 pocket, 40 inches in height, and you have strands of stock going within the within the airspace of the tent. Although those hoots and the strands that go in do not provide more shade than sun, it's called a, a dearest suf. It's like not a livable situation. To be in such a confined location, I think right above your head, it's not, it's like it's tired. But if the cops says, Based on them, or what about if they be decorations? Although they come within the airspace of Tenth Volchim, is valid. So we explained this, and I mentioned Tosis, where Tosis says a sukkah, because one you see as an enhancement, something that beautifies the sukkah, you know, it, does, it's not, it doesn't bother you. But something that's totally superfluous, it's infringing on my comfort. Because what, it has no value. What is strands coming down? It's like, a sl- it's sloppy. So that bothers the person. Something that bothers you, okay? So that disrupts the value of the sukkah. But something that you take as an enhancement, although it comes within your, your space, so to say, because it's within the space of ten, it doesn't validate it. Let's see if we should work out well. Hutsin, Dehavo, Amino, Kevadein, Iker, Haschach, Lamat, Measor. Because normally what you would say, if it would provide more shade than sun, say, so where is the covering? If you measure from floor to the roof, it's less than ten. But over here we're saying, So it's a what? It's a not livable, not a livable residence. You feel put upon. It does, it does. But we're saying, but in addition to having the chitza, you, you can't do it's tired. Right? The two things. The chitza means it has a, it's a halakha wall. It's a ten, ten, uh, 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 that which qualifies a sukkah of Kutznach on top. That would. That would. Not, not in the width, but in the height. Sit on the floor. That would be okay. You can't stand a sukkah. You don't have to stand. Uh, but I'd say a sukkah is good. It means you can't stand. You mean you can't stand. Okay. But we say, but if the decorations, in imposed with the cave and him, the noya sukkah, the teli adabor, the sukkah, Anything which is beautification of the sukkah, it's also doesn't it doesn't invalidate the sukkah. Okay, let's see good. What about how you said the What about if it was less of a of a, of a distance from the floor and stuff, less than ten twelve? The chokek bo lashlima also is already at the beginning of the sukkah, and he when he dug into the floor to. There should be the distance from floor to ceiling, the proper distance. You say, what is it, right? See? Yesh b'chak shir chamisho, excuse me, yesh b'chak shir hech So you dug in seven by seven, right? Now the question, but what's the question, what's the distance of the indentation of the ground to the wall? What is the distance? You understand the question now? Let's say he dug, he, he cut out an area now, seven by seven, but if you measure from the end of the chakak to the wall, it's more than three tefachim. Three tefachim on the wall. Right? So th- then you'd have a wall. Right? Right? Because that wall is not a wall. Because you measure a wall from inside. So from inside that wall, it's less than ten tefachim from floor to ceiling. So if, see, if it would have been a wall, so then you could say Dovin Akuma, right? Like we discussed yesterday. No, but you have to have a wall. Right. A Dovin Akuma is, it, it, the horizontal ceiling extends from a Mechitza. But over here, he, since he dug into the ground, and there's a distance from the indentation of the ground to the wall, three Tvachim, that means this indentation has no relevance to the wall, to, to that, what, that partition. And since the partition is less than ten Tvachim, it's not called Mechitza. Once it's not Mechitza, you're not able to say Dovin Akuma. You follow me? The logic. 
Let's see. In I ain bein achitat because of shloshim fachum sheira. If there's less than a distance of three tefachim between the indentation and the wall, it's a valid sukkah. Love the hole. Love it is. Uh, love it. Love it means we we take that wall, move it over to the indentation. Right. So the wall is adjacent to the indentation. Yesh b'neim shloshim tefachim. But if there's a distance of three tefachim between the wall and the indentation, suda, because. The sukkah doesn't have a wall, correct? That wall is only whatever it is. It's less than ten tefachim. It's not a wall, and it has no relevance to this. So, what do you have? An indentation in the ground without walls? It's not a sukkah. Even though you have schach over here, schach without walls is not a sukkah. Eleven tefachim by eleven tefachim. a hole. No, 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 he no. Did, let's he dug it exactly in the middle. And now you have less than three tefachim to the wall. Less than three is okay. Less than three is no problem. Right. It's, more than three. it's only three or more. Three or more is a problem. What the hell is the wall? Is it yeah. And now the wall is ten tefachim. Yeah, 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 I understand that. But here you... Ten okay. it's it's ten no! Why, why is the wall ten tefachim? No, if you me- no, no, you didn't make it ten tefachim. If you measure, let's say the wall has, let's say, the ground which is adjacent to the wall. Right. If you measure from that ground to the stuff, how many, how many tefachim is this enclosure? Before the hole or after the hole? No, okay. but the indentation of the ground is three tefachim away from the wall. It's three tefachim away from the wall. So the indentation has no relevance to the wall. It's like you dug the hole somewhere else. So if you have a structure and it's less than ten tefachim from floor to ceiling, what is it? It's not a machita, right? It's called a partition. That's all it's called, an enclosure. A sukkah to be valid, you need you need halacha, you need walls that meet, that meet the standard of what a machita is. But if you measure here from the ground, which is adjacent to that wall, to the schach, you only have eight tefachim. An eight tefachim wall is is not a machita. So in that case, this sukkah, even though you have the area in the center, and you have kosher schach above it, and you measure from floor to ceiling, you have 40 inches, so you have kosher schach, but where are your walls? Well, the walls are out there. So good, but out there is the reference to the, to the sukkah, right? Out there, those are not walls, out there, what's out there. If it's within three, so they're not out, those walls are exactly aligned with the indentation, halachically. So if, if you say, what is the distance of, from the floor to ceiling which this wall is enclosing? Ten Falcon. Because love it brings it over. How we got it? Okay. You know, if you have three Falcon between, less than three Falcon between two persons, two years, what happens? <laughs> Connect. Okay, that's a local machine. See now. Okay. Let's see the machine for up. Yud. The chalk of all Ashlim la sorrow. Now, that's an interesting question. See here, we said earlier that if you have a sukkah that's above 20, so it's not valid, and then you fill it in with gravel or sand, you raise the floor. It's valid. Before we discussed, you have to take the stata, lift it, and put it back down. What would be happening? So, Mishmur said, no. Why? Because it is kosher stach, except it's out of bounds. See, if something is, is attached to a tree growing, it's not bound stach. See, if you snip it off, you still you have to pick, pick it up, put it down. Right? Or it was, let's say, originally nailed on. Boards nailed on to the, to the stach, to the, to the roof, and then you. you Take out the nail, so it's not permanent. It, but because since initially, when you put that board on, it was it was put in permanently, right? So you have to lift it up, and put it down. But that's called schach posu. I thought you said also if your tree was overhanging, schach, and then you know, would make that schach posu. If initially, right? So then you have no, to that's called schach posu. Yes, so you would have. To. No, but still, no, isn't that schach posu schach except for the tree coming? No, down. no, no, it's not. It's not. Of course, if you have the tree over it, that's not. That's like it's, it's, it's both. It's both. But is that the same as the twenty dollars? No, 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 no. Because no, no, no. there, it's, you can't see it. Or it doesn't have the status. It's, it's shade. 
See, there the stop wasn't providing shade. Where? Uh, where you had the tree over the stop. Right. We had this discussion. Let's say your opinion, the tree over that stop provides also more shade. <coughs> so that means the stop under the tree is irrelevant. The stop has to provide shade. The stop doesn't provide shade. Understand? Here, the stop of 20, it, it's it's hot, but it's out of bounds. That's the problem. The way it's left, don't have to close that down. You don't have to. It's like 20 one one. Three, Because there, the, 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 the stock on it is not functioning. It's even a stock. Here, the problem is. Yeah, yeah, it's the the but here, it's out of bounds. Uh-huh. Right? Because the, it's in, here, the problem is in the walls. The walls are called permanent walls. And Scott is okay. But over here, let's see, but maybe when it's less than 10, and now you, you make the indentation in the ground, maybe you would have to put the stock. You understand? Why? Because before we were talking about. Uh, no, 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 no. Because I was thinking over here, we're saying that. No, no, not that one. Because no, you can say also the, the, the roof covering is providing shade, yeah. it's providing protection. Yeah. Probably the same thing. Because we call it the Dira Sucha. It's, it's, it's like an intolerable place to live. But factually, it's still providing protection. The stock is still providing protection. Let's see, be there to protect it from the sun. It's still protected from the sun. It's providing shade. Right, if you're stranded in Puerto Rico, right, and the sun is beating down, you got to crawl into a hole. It's not, stop it. it's not protecting you. Okay, so you have to acknowledge somebody came here. Do you have a table? Yeah, kind of like the workshop. You have to come from the platform in the Chimborado. So they're really using you have a platform that can have a fit because you have to come from the open country. It's the same as Hitzel. It's the same as when you have 10. Okay. What did you say about like the tsunami? The situation with the 20, uh, 20 almost slip up, and you elevate the floor on the gravel or whatever, and now you make it closer because of it. How do, what did you say if you found the formants in the 20 almost down? Does it make it harsh? No, no, definitely not. The formants do not bring no, it No, no, the formants go up. Factually, the stock is on top. So you still measure from the stock, you should not bring right. down the right. stock. Right. With the ornaments. I mean, it's interesting, right? Uh, it's it's really more good. It's more good. Of course, you say, where are the ornaments that are up there? They're subsumed to the stock. Not the stock is subsumed to the ornament. They're hanging down. I'm sorry, they hang down. They can hang down there and almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not asking. It's not asking. You said it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we didn't discuss it. That case, we didn't discuss it. We didn't discuss it. No, we didn't get that. It's an interesting question. Probably wouldn't be good. Okay. Let's go. Let's see over to Mishnah Baruch. Chokebosh loshel asor, lashlim asor, hu adinim hoi aschach o, v'notl min aschach v'numato, at shenas is gov asor, k'shero. So let's say it had a very thick schach covering. So because of the thickness, you measure from the bottom of the schach to the floor, you have less than 10 token, you thin it out. So by thinning it out, so now, it's what? You measure now from the bottom of the schach, you have 10 token, it will be kosher. Shloshet token, sheiro. Now, read in love with We say if, if from the indentation to the wall, it's less than 3 token, it's valid. Right? Even though adjacent to the wall, if you measure from the, that, piece of ground to the ceiling will be less than 10 tochim, but because it's within three tochim, the Prince of it says, you shift over the wall. You shift the wall to the indentation. We see the walls touching the indentation. Now here's an interesting child of So we say, if you're within the indentation, which is 7 by 7, you're in the circle. Whatever person wants to go, and part of his body should be Adjacent to the wall on that piece of ground that's less than 10 tochim. Could he be there? Is he considered like out of his sukkah? Because I'm saying if the wall is moved over, halakhali, when you're in the indentation, it's like the wall is adjacent to the indentation. Let's say the person goes and part of his body is on that, the higher level. The three less than three tochim. Less, less than three tochim. The the because then we have a problem. One, what is it? If the wall's been leaned over, so you're out of the sukkah. No, 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 no
See? He says, no. See? He says, <laughs> in second. No, the notation is 7 by 7. The notation independent of the ground next to the wall is 7 by 7. You move the wall over the notation, right? Yeah. You have an area, 100 feet by 100 feet, but you measure from floor to ceiling, it's less than 10 feet. He goes and he hollows out, he digs into the ground, up to two and a half tefachim to the wall. It's all dug out. You have ten tefachim. You have a tremendous sukkah. So we say you have to be sitting in the lower level, not the higher level. The higher level is only no, but you're out. He said monarch, like we said monarch shock. The monarch shock. If the wall is moved, uh, is the wall moved over? Not moved over. But let's read inside. There you go. No, I'm sure that where is it? Kom lechol lishul chutz lechak bein letzar apesar bein tzar akshob yesh min aposkim chechmir rose. He's saying it's not simple. He says the poskim say you shouldn't. Lo miskasha agav the chak. It will not be valid if you eat on top of that elevated part. Ki lo bitzdaba bemtza tzov tzov dira suchi kevichi pchusim yasarit fochim. Factually, it's a dirus rucha. He's, he's, he's saying a different rationale. Well, it's the same rationale. Factually, the level of the comfort level there, it's it's not a comfort level. We have before, even if you have kosher schach, ten tefachim, but he has strands coming down. What do we say? It's not valid, even though the schach is ten tefachim from the floor. But since the strands come down, it makes it an intolerable situation. So sitting on that ledge. It's also, factually, you're in an area which is not, it's, it, it's, it's beyond discomfort. This is discomfort. Yeah. I can't imagine it's a comfort situation. But it's still, 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 No, we said 10 is minimum. Every, nobody argues 10 you need. Right? We said if you have kosher schach and you have strands coming down, Within the airspace of ten, even if the strands don't provide more shape inside, right? We said it's possible. Why is it possible? But if you have ten, twelve inches more than the schach, because it, it's a this level of discomfort. So we say you need minimally ten to be the minimal level of, of comfort. So if you're going to sit on that ledge, you're in. You're, it's it's a level of discomfort. Yeah, right, yeah. right, exactly. It is a wall. It's a wall, yeah. but it, it's a discomfort issue. What about from the wall to the indentation, the ground? You have three tvochim, so that means we can't apply the principle of lavut. And you can't say, well, let us see the ceiling coming off the wall. Why? Dofen akuma means the, the horizontal ceiling is an extension of a mechitza. But if the mechitza is not classified as a mechitza, so you can't extend the ceiling, say, it's the extension of a wall. The wall's not a wall. No, never. What's Dauphin Akuma? Something which is a valid wall, what now bends and is horizontal, we see it as an extension of that Dauphin, of that halachic wall. But the wall itself, what is it? It's for him. Correct? Because it has no relevance to the notation. Because if you measure from the floor to ceiling, you only have eight for him. The inner part of this wall. So now you make the indentation, so it's uh, three So it's three way. This wall has no room. Not a way. The indentation is three fucking deep. No, it's, it, that's now, like how deep it is. It's going to be fifty. It's going to be fifty fucking deep. We're speaking now the distance of the wall to that indentation. So if this, it's three, it's twelve inches, which is three fucking. That means that wall is separated from the indentation. So what, what is that wall associated with? <coughs> Not a, it's not a mechitza. Mechitza, it's not, it's not a wall. Right. Since it's not a wall, you can't say dofen akuma. No. If it's a wall, it's talking about dofen akuma. That's simple. You know, you can, you can fix it by building a proper soul. No, no, yeah. sure, <laughs> you, c- you cut it further closer. But let's say you don't go. You left it, but now you have full. And if you get entrenched, then you can have. You realize Moshe has an undergraduate degree in engineering. You understand that? Right. Okay. The key word there. Oh, graduate, right. sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> if you dug the trench, 
Yeah. You have this. You have this piece. And now you're three amas away from the wall. You've got this trench. No, I'm saying three amas. You dig the trench. Yeah, trench. Where are you? And now the wall is ten foot. Good. And now you can use Dokkan uh, Akuma, which is four Yeah, but, but if the trench is not going to have it, but if the center is less than ten foot. Right, the center, you have the, the fish. So the good, center. of course. So then, then it makes everything. See, tell me, you know, if you think, if you create a kosher yeah. sook, it's kosher. Okay. Right. But in the middle, you still can't sit. In that four, in that four amas section, you can't sit because it's a Dokkan Akuma. Okay. If you make it kosher, it's kosher. It's not kosher, it's not kosher. Okay. This is, why would it be? Because the, the way I understand it is, just as by the decorations, even if they come within 10, because since it's an enhancement, even though factually you're, you're pressed in there, you don't see it as oppressive, here, it's actually, where, where is the majority of your body? You're, you're in the sukkah. The sukkah itself has ten walking. It's, it's only to the side. So the way the person experiences the location, not in the state of, of tzara, not discomfort. That's the only way, the only way I can hear it.